Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm going to review for you a movie I just recently watched called The Forest. I want to thank everybody who watched my unboxing of this and um, came here to check out my thoughts today. So, I, like I said in the unboxing, I hadn't seen the trailer for this, but there's a lot of people on Instagram talking it up, saying, you know, that they checked it out, they liked it. I really like this cover art, really cool, unique cover art there. It's got the girl's face, and you see the trees in her face. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but, uh, so there's this girl and her sister, uh, Sarah, and I can't remember her sister's name. It's not, it not say. But anyways, uh, the one sister is in Japan, and they hinted that she's maybe a teacher there, but I'm not sure they ever really came out and said that, but that's what I think was going on. She was teaching in Japan. And her sister, who is in the United States still, has a bad feeling, you know, it's a twin's intuition, whatever you want to call it. And she can't get a hold of her, and she like calls the police or whatever and files a missing person. And um, they say she went to this mountain, uh, or this forest, the forest. Uh, has a name, I don't I remember what it was. Obviously it was in Japanese. <laughs> uh, but uh, so they they say she goes in, she went into this forest, and she she later learns that um, in, in the earlier days, or I don't know how long ago, people you know who are poor and they couldn't afford to take care of the elderly or they're disabled or whatever would just take them to the forest and shoo them away to die, I guess. And so it kind of became this like supernatural forest, and currently. They, people will go there to kill themselves. It's like the designated suicide spot of Japan, I guess. And uh, I don't know if it's true. My dad said this was based on a true place. I never, I never went around to looking it up. But so sh she, she doesn't believe though that she went there to kill herself, even though she's already tried to kill herself twice before. She believes she's just lost. She's got that twin intuition. She's not dead. I'm gonna go find her because they're not looking for her because they say you know pe people who stay in that forest for two days um, never come out alive and she's already been there for like five days or something because people saw her going in this is another thing people don't try to stop them they're just like whatever this is they're going in there they're committing suicide one less mouth to feed <laughs> you know I don't I don't really understand um, why they wouldn't try to stop them so she's in Japan and she's trying to get help, but people are saying, you know, oh, this forest makes you do things, and it makes you see things, and you don't want to go in there, and don't go off the path, and don't stay there at night. Well, she ends up meeting this guy, and he knows a guy who does, like, um, kind of searches. He, you know, if he sees somebody, he tries to talk to him, and if he finds a body, he lets them know, and, um, I don't know why, just something he does. I guess he doesn't work, he just, this is his job that he doesn't get paid for. So he agrees to be her guide, and they're in the forest looking for her sister. So that's kind of kind of the basics of the story. I don't want to go into it any more than that. Um, if you guys want to know more than that, you'll have to watch it yourself. The thing about this movie is that there's no, t like, there's no real tension or suspense in it. You're never, like... Like, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, you know, you don't have that suspense feeling. I feel like the few scares that it had were just not scary. I, I feel like this movie could have been so much more. It could have had, I mean, you have a forest where thousands or, I don't know, probably thousands of people have died or killed themselves, and you have, you know, spirits that are, are not at rest, and you know, you could have done so much with this, and I feel like it just fell so short. They did so little with it. It's mainly just her running around, and it's kind of got some um, twists in it, which are okay, but they, I don't know. This, Like I said, this movie just, just left me wanting something more. It was a great idea, you know? I think this movie could have been really good, and if they had just done a little more to make it a little scarier, Make, make it just a little more interesting somehow. I think this could have been a really good good horror. Um, like I said, it did fall short. And I think calling this movie average is, is doing it um, a little a little bit of a favor. But um, I'm going to rate this one a 5 out of 10. Um, like I said, it was a neat idea. 
the f whole haunted forest thing was cool. Uh, the story was okay. I just I just feel like it could use a little more, a little more scares, something. I mean, like it just needed more fear-inducing moments. I guess I don't know, but uh, I did like this. You know, I, I think it was enjoyable. You guys uh, might just want to rent it and not pick it up, but it's definitely worth a watch. I would definitely recommend watching it, but um, watch it before you spend a 20 on the Blu-ray. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and follow on Instagram.